Friday Night Lights at Rogers Center as the Calgary Stampeders clash with the Toronto Argonauts. Well, John Huffnagel's team now in a three-way tie for first place. So Rennie Paredes kicks it off. And it will be Chad Owens from his 15-yard line. Chad Cackert's in the game. Stamps will swing it out. And is That's that a live football? football? That might be a lateral. If that ball is thrown behind Henry Burrs backwards, it would have been a fumble. The ruling on the field has been overturned. It was an onside pass immediately recovered by Toronto. Give him nine on the play, so it's second and one. Now it's Boyd outside. Boyd, touchdown. Oh, he can tweet about that. It's a 13-yard touchdown run. Second and 10. And Burris under siege, and Hudley's got him again. There is a flag down as Kevin Hudley has the sack. So Paredes with the 28-yard field goal. Seems to be busier tonight than they give him the ball here, and he kicks it outside, and look out, Corey Boyd! Down the sidelines, and finally jolted out by Demetrius Morley. The horse is out of the stable. Second and seven. Looks like there might be some confusion, but Giles takes off, and he's down around the five-yard line, and that should be another Toronto first down. B.J. Hall stays in, a high shotgun snap, and Hall going to run it in, took a hit, but it's a touchdown. So the Argos touchdown stands as B.J. Hall, the rookie, hits pay dirt to the Argos. Expand their lead. B.C. even with the 81-yarder. Struggling again tonight. Pressure on. And Hank dancing around. Anybody open? Now looking for Larry Taylor. It's intercepted. Off the corner, Byron Parker. Looking for a record. He's got it. Touchdown. His eighth interception. Touchdown return. And that ties a Canadian Football League mark. Eight touchdowns on interceptions for Byron Parker. He knows the record is sitting there, and he, he was determined to get it. It's a perfect cover man right there. Stephen Giles, play action fake. He wants Owens, and he's got him. There's the best pass play for the Argos in this first half. And on that carry, he's 4 for 29 on the night. And Corey Boyd, huge hole for Boyd. And Boyd down to the 16-yard line. They've got 21 seconds left. See, they've had trouble here at Rogers Center in recent years. Throw to Rideau. Brandon Rideau. Touchdown. And the Toronto Argonauts putting up 27 and a convert to come in the first half. Drew Tate is in the game. And that's interesting. For the Stampeders, third and two. John Cornish has got it and more. And Jeremy Unerdo can't bring him down. What a run. That might fire up the Stampeders as John Cornish not only converts, he busts it for 29. Averaging over 14 a carry. Play action fake. Nick Lewis, touchdown. Well, that's an impressive opening drive in the second half as Calgary sends a message they're not out of the football game. The Argos give up a safety. There's a pass that is intercepted. Keon Raymond tracked it down. And Raymond on the return. Flagged down. But Keon Raymond has a big interception and finally dropped. Raymond has his fifth interception of the season. Suddenly, the Calgary Stampeders have all the momentum in the second half. Second and 10. Tate to the flat, Lewis the catch, and he is taken down quickly. So Paredes to attempt a 40-yarder. And Rene Paredes nails that. Time a third down gamble here in the second half. Third and about a yard and a half, and Cornish has got it in a big way. Once again, Calgary converts. Taylor, six receivers, second and ten. Over the middle for Lewis, and he's got it. How'd he thread that needle? Wow. Point didn't look like there was any room there. Now looking into the corner for Forzani. Jamal! Touchdown! Johnny Forzani on Byron Parker. 
Former NCAA dunk champion gets out jumped here by Johnny Forzani. Oh, and look at Forzani bring that one down right on the top of his shoulder pads. Oh, run at the boy. It's been a while since we saw Giles run it. He's throwing it this time. Copeland can't catch it. Eric Freezer does. It's another turnover. The Calgary Stampeders have another interception. This field goal attempt by Rennie Paradez is for the lead. The Calgary Stampeders have the lead for the first time since Paradez opened the scoring. To stay alive. Had time. Now running out of it. In trouble for Boyd. The catch is made, but Corey Boyd is short. But there is a flag down. Illegal contact on a receiver. Calgary, number 28. Wow. Calgary, first down. They stay alive. Giles, the goal is held up again. And this is picked off, but there is a flag. And it looked like that time Brandon Rodeau was, was grabbed on the play. Was it Jeff Tisdale? Illegal contact on a receiver. Calgary, number 29. 10-yard penalty. First down. What a great exchange. Tisdale looked at the bench and claimed innocence, and John Huffnagel said, no, you grabbed him. Second and two, two and a half. Giles takes off, got a first down, and a feet first slide at the 25. And now the Argos just have to set it up into the middle of the field for Prefontaine. Noel Prefontaine for the win. Got it. And the Argos will escape. An upset win. They do it the hard way. And a devastating loss for the Calgary Stampeders. 31-29 the final for the Argos. So long from Rogers Center.